hello everybody. Welcome back. It's Gina. I want to uh, welcome everybody today. Um, I have started a challenge and I've got a couple of really talented ladies who have agreed to help me with this. I'm going to put their channels below and we're hoping that this is going to be a monthly challenge but you know it being the first one that I've participated well that I've you know started um, we'll just see how it goes but I am hoping that this is successful and we can carry on with this um, let me just start by saying um, thank you so much to these ladies this is um, the channel names <clears throat> this is Martina Nikki and Angela and you're probably already familiar with their work because they are mega talented uh, but these are the other three ladies that are going to be helping me with this. And as I said, I'll put a link to their channels in the description box below. So do please check them out. Um, and, you know, show some love to them by subscribing to their channels. Because they are really, really talented at what they do. So today's challenge is five on a dime. And... The reason for this is I want to try to encourage uh, more creativity without having to go out and purchase items. I know we all love to shop and it's so nice to buy um, crafting supplies, but I, I guess I'm thinking, for me, I think creativity, I'm more creative when I need to use you know, everyday items. And that may be different for everybody, but that's just my thinking behind this, is I want to encourage people to think, you know, that maybe are, are just starting out and are getting discouraged because they're seeing so many things and they feel like, well, I don't know where to start. And I just want to try, I'm hoping what this is going to do is show you that just with a few things that you've already got in your home, you can create a lot of um, items for your journals, and this can extend to card making, whatever your interest is, because often a journal might just be too intimidating. So maybe you want to start with a small project, like a um, just a little stuffed envelope or something. So, um, so that was the reason for this, and the five on the dime name, I guess I, it takes me back to my youth, the old five and dime stores where you could pretty much find anything in it. And so that is, that's, you know, the meaning behind the five on a dime challenge. So today, I've decided to um, choose the, the items for the first challenge, which is July. And I chose safety pins, lace of any sort, paper doilies envelopes and if you follow me you know why <laughs> I'll give you 996 reasons why I chose this <laughs> and then buttons so I think most everyone has this in the house um, with the exception maybe the doily but in all fairness you can go to the Dollar Tree and I know you can get a pack of you know 40 or 50 uh, doilies for a pound or a dollar so, sorry, I'm working in pounds and dollars today. Um, so, you know, I wanted it to be stuff that people didn't think, oh, you know, there's $20 i got to go spend for that item. You don't. Um, now, how you decorate it, that, you know, you obviously you can, you can extend that to other things. But just to show you the basis of it and what I came up with. Now, I want to explain as well. You aren't limited to this. It was the project just needed to contain these four, four, uh, five items. So um, let's get started. I'll show you what I created. I'll set all this to the side and what I created with um, with these items. So here we are, and that is taking that envelope and I manipulate it. And I'll show you in the tutorial because we're going to have a tutorial. It might be a lengthy one because this did take a while. Um, but there again, it's how elaborately you want to decorate it. But I'll just give you a close-up there. I'm really pleased with how it came out. Aged safety pin. There's our button. 
there's a bit of doily, the paper doily I've just torn and placed in random places, and then the envelope and the lace. So there you have it. And inside this one, the window, got a bit more of the doily, some more old lace. And then on the back, I've backed this with tea dyed paper so that you can do some writing behind it. So that is the front. So when, when this is in a journal, you're going to adhere this little flap. So that's going to be secure. And when you lift that up, you've got more journaling space on the back. I created another little pocket here with these little tags. And like I said, you know, you don't have to go this far with it. You could just leave it plain. And then in this one, I created this little tag and it's backed with the tea dyed paper and the negative I stitched here so that will be a dimensional butterfly. But it flattens out so that when it goes back in the pocket and so that's still secure so that when you flip that up you've also got this bit of writing space and then this is your journal page. So you've got quite a lot of writing just within that one element of your journal. Um, and I love, you know, I love my little tabs that stick out with little words. I just think that's a really nice, I just, I like to see things like that. Okay, so anyways, I'm rambling on. How do you make these? That's what you're saying. Okay, so first of all, this is your envelope. We are going to fold this. Get my own folder. Just started the day, and uh, look at I've already got inky fingers. So um, you know, obviously, if you're you you want to make sure that you don't make this too too wide for the journal that you're thinking about going placing this in. Um, in fact, I will make that just a little bit. There we go. That's a little bit better. That looked a little wide for the journals that I work in. So, what I did, let me get my coffee over here, guys. I still need some coffee. Don't cut through the flap. Just take it up to where the flap folds on the envelope and just snip that. And don't worry if, if it's not completely straight because... I went back and put it through my paper cutter just to make sure the edges could see you got that little bit. So what I did is, is just, you can trim that up if that, because you know how OCD I am. I, I want everything precise. <laughs> Alright, so it's still held together. And then that way, these are going to be the flap that you can adhere to the... Um, the journal. So that's how I did that. And then just now glue. I'm going to put a little bit of, well, no, it seems to be sticking. If you don't feel like it's going to, because sometimes when you tea dye these or coffee dye them, you lose some of that um, adhesive. If you don't feel it's going to be strong enough, then I would put a little bit of glue just to make sure. Um, See, so now that's showing this. So let me snip this. I'm going to put this through the trimmer really quick. Okay, so that's just straightened up that edge a little bit. And so now when you flip that over, you've got your two flaps. So it's that simple, guys. Um, but we will go ahead and in this video, I'll go ahead and show you how I chose to decorate. Now today, I've decided to use Artie Mae's Ferns and Mushrooms kit. This is her collage kit, because I love these papers. And I've still got some of the mushrooms left over from a journal, so I thought this is a great opportunity to try to kind of play around and use some of these colors. I love these papers. 
so we've got this now. Um, we're going to do some stitching, but when I, I go to the machine, I'll have to shut off. So let's just get started with some collaging on the front, and then we'll make a couple of journal cards. Um, so I kind of like the idea of this being this area being across here. So let me just get this torn. So I hope everybody is having a great day. And uh, anybody got any big plans? And maybe you've already had your summer vacation or is it still to look forward to? Um, I'd love to know what everybody's up to. You know I've got <clears throat> my son coming in, so I'm just trying to get a few last minute projects out of the way before he arrives. Because I do not think I'm going to get much done. He's supposed to be working while he's here, but um, <clears throat> I think probably even if he is working, I'm probably going to be having to catch up on other stuff, so I'm not too sure that I will, that you'll see much out of me in the next couple of weeks. I have done a create with me um, to share it at some point. You know what, I'm just going to leave that because I'm going to, I don't mind if that extends up, I can crease that. Yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and adhere that. Um, I found on the the you know this part of it the glue stick seems to work a little bit better and then when I get into the bigger um, you know some of my die cuts and stuff I I will switch over probably to that Fabri Tac or three in one I don't think I've even got any Fabri Tac left so I'm going to have that just just over the edge to try to get away from so much of the straight line. Okay, like that. I think I might put just a little bit. I should have torn that a little bit bigger, I think, given what I was going to do. But uh, this is what happens when you're working on in front of the camera. I'm just going to go with it. <laughs> so I'm trying to think. Um, because this is going to... Uh, let me use that. Yeah, that looks nice. I'll put there. Um, but you know how some days everything just seems to fall into place? I don't think that's going to be one of those days today. <laughs> I don't know. You can just kind of get a feel, can't you, when it's all going smoothly and then other times it's like, oh, okay, what, what was I thinking there? <laughs> I think that's going to be one of these days. Because as I said, I could have made that a lot easier, but it looks nice up in the the, the edge there, so I want to get a little more color along this bottom, so I'm going to tear this. And everything is always, always quicker, guys, when you're not uh, trying to do it in front of the camera, don't you know? Because that... Uh, other one didn't take me to, eh, you know, probably, this one probably, <clears throat> start to finish, took me about an hour, but that's because I was, you know, trying to sort out, well, how exactly did I want it to look? Oh, I like that. I like the way that's come out. Um, so, but I think if, you know, really, probably, but there's a lot of die cutting in that as well, so, 
like I said, it, but it shouldn't take, you know, it's probably a 30 to 40 minute project. What I think I'll do is get all my papers on here and then take this to the machine and do it all in one go. Yep, I'm really pleased with that. I'll come back after I've stitched it and do some uh, embellishing. So, let's get this. Hold it down here. Now, <clears throat> You've got a couple of things you can do here. You can either stitch that closed. I don't want to see that. So I, on this one, just came along and, and collaged a little bit of, you know, paper there. And then when I machine, machine stitched it, that secured it even more. So that's what I'm going to carry on doing with this because it's, um, that blue's not very nice. <clears throat> So my my in-laws have been saving me their junk mail, you know, window junk mailers. And uh, yesterday they brought me another big batch, and I said, "Ooh, uh, <laughs> I really don't need any more after this, guys, because uh, I I now own a thousand window envelopes. Although they're you know the mailers are bigger, so it's still nice to have them. But oh my gosh, I've got a massive supply of them." And uh, when I went out to the car boot, I picked up some little notepad, um, little cards with envelopes. So I've got more of those again. It's just uh, my envelope supply seems to be growing instead of going down. But I'll get through them because I do think they're really, really fun to work with. Alright, so there's a little bit of blue showing. I'm not going to stress about that yet because when I come back and ink over that, that will, that will resolve that little issue. And as I said, if you wanted to collage this whole, all of these, you can. But I personally thought, oh, how nice to have the writing space or this one's large enough you could have a um, photo with a little... Um, story here and then more writing space back here or as I did in this one you can come back and add a pocket so all right at this point now I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna stitch here up down and then I also like the stitching on this flap just purely for look you don't need to do that and then on this one, stitching, just making sure you guys don't close the um, pocket that you created. So I will be back and show you what I've done. Okay guys, I'm back. Sorry I needed a, cup, a sip of coffee there. So this one I've, um, as you can see, I've stitched it in black and just framed around. This is the little flap that's going to be secured in the journal. And then here, and then I've stitched around here. So now at this point, I'm going to go ahead and ink this up and see if there's anything else I need to, is it, that I need to cover or where I'm going with this one.
okay, I'm happy with that. Um, so, what am I going to do with this one? Well, I know I'm going to make a journal card. So I think I might just leave um, the embellishing of this until the last. So let me see. I want to measure out um, about four by three and three quarter. I should have done this first, guys. I'm sorry. This is a uh, this is what I'm talking about, feeling like I'm not prepared. So what I've got, I quite liked this in the last one, was the craft, but it's kind of a flimsy one. So what I found I did was doubled it and then backed it with my um, tea dyed paper, and that seemed to work fine. So what did I say that was for? I'm going to go four and a quarter by three and three quarter and see if that's going to work. Because sometimes you cut these out and they still won't go in there um, easily. So when that happens, I'll just come back and trim it down. Let me see if that's going to work. Ah, uh, yeah, it won't because I already forgot that, that bit. Ah, oh, goodness, okay, so I need to take off a bit more, about three and a quarter. Okay, let's see if that one will be going there a little bit better. Yep, that's perfect there. So, put those together now. What do I want peeking through? <clears throat> I kind of <clears throat> would like to see that image through that window, I think. So, let's see how I can do this to catch it. figured out if the kids are out of school here yet um, because I'm going to take a little bit off the top here they um, I'm hearing them a bit more but I don't know they get out really really late in the UK so I'm not too sure I, the first year I was over here I felt so sorry for those kids because it was um it was a really cold, wet year, and I'm not kidding you, by the time they got out of school, summer was over. So that was really, really different. Um, but I don't know, they must be out by now. But I just don't know. All right, so I like that. And then I think I'll stitch that, and I wanna make a couple of tabs. So let me get a couple of tabs punched out. I've got these little, um, I think they're spell binders. Somebody asked me about these before because they're part of my little mini Rolodex cards and it came with these as well. But I'm pretty sure it was the spell binders, but I do not know the name because, like I said, somebody asked me about that before. Because what I do. I had a really great tip. Um, I'll show you guys how I store my dies. And this isn't my idea. I had a great tip from um, a lady off of Facebook. Because I told her, I said, Oh, how can I store my dies? Because I travel, you know, when I was coming over here. And she suggested to go to the fishing department at, at uh, Walmart. 
and you get these. You get this, look at that. It's the gulp soft salt water. And then you get these things. Oh my gosh, is that thing? It's part, look at that. It's just amazing. I love this. So that's how I do mine. And so you can see, this is why I don't know even know the name of them. I'm sorry guys, I had a phone call I had to take. So anyways, I've cut out um, a couple of these little tabs. And then I also cut out some tea dyed paper so I could stamp on that. <sighs> it when I get interrupted. Are you that way? Because it really throws you off and I was already having an off day. So yes, what a pickle. <laughs> okay, let's see. Where, where, where are we going to go with this? Let's do a little stamp a little word. This one says believe. I'm starting to hear some kids out and around, so I have a feeling school must be out. Alrighty, back to this. I'm sorry, this seems a really mixed up tutorial today. I hope this everybody's not completely lost on what's happening here. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> you guys are probably like, oh, it must be you. <laughs> so I'm going to go to the machine now and stitch this and back it with some tea dyed paper. And then I also go ahead and do this, and then we'll come back and decide I might put something over that. So I will be right back. Okay, guys, I am back, and that is how it looks now. You can see I stitched it. I've tucked that between the craft card and the um, tea dyed paper. Let me snip that a little bit. So yeah, I like how that looks. And then when that's in there, that's how that's how it's going to look. So let's go ahead and decorate the front. And then Okay, so I've still where are we? We need doily lace the safety pin and a button still. So I'm going to put a bit of the doily around like I did the other one. Because um, I like I like the way that looked with just a little bit of it here and there. Because keeping in mind, this is going to be glued down, so I'm not bothered about what that looks like behind. So, <coughs> just put a 
little bit up there. And then I can come back over it and ink it just to tone it down a little bit so it's not so white. Okay, now I've got this bit of lace. I'm kind of thinking I'm going to go with that one there. I'll cut that a little bit too long. So, anytime I cut off little pieces like that, I've got a drawer that I just stick it in there for my. Um, snippets which is something I need to do in fact that might be what I do when Jerry's here is work on some stuff like that because it's snippet rolls and that kind of stuff it's easy to walk away from those projects um, journals I find when I start working on a journal um, not so easy to walk away from I tend to get obsessed with it, and sometimes, I know some people think, probably exaggerate, but there's been times I've worked 16, 18 hours just because I can't walk away from it, and then that's not even completing it, but um, the snippet rolls are really kind of nice because you can, I just, I pull that apart so it looks a little more ratty. <laughs> ratty, isn't that a nice word? Tatty, tatty, that's probably better. Tattered. Um, whereas, like, things like the snippet rolls, that's no problem to walk away from that. Um, so I might do some of that kind of stuff when Jerry's here. Now, the other thing I did is, you know, I've done tutorials in the past where you get these little... You know, when you cut off your um, elements out of your digital and you end up with some of these off cuts, well, this one I had printed on the back, and so I was actually cutting it out to, to use it this way, and when I saw that that had been printed on the back and these were just off cuts, I thought, ooh, I love that. So, before I put those down, I'm going to ink the edges just a little bit. And I think these are probably fine to do now as well. I'm not going to do too much to it because I do want it to stand out. I love that. Those have come out really, really pretty. And I think that's going to suit this project nicely. So, the first thing I better do is get this bit of um, lace okay let me get that adhered And then I'll uh, try my best to just get some of this to work because that other glue I got is so runny. I um, I don't think it's right, so I'm going to send that glue back and see if I can get a replacement because I don't believe that that's the consistency that should be. Ah. Now, I've just realized something. I'm going to drop this down because I'll have to snip some of that off. And the reason I've had to do that is keeping in mind when that flips, don't go beyond that. I'm sure it's already occurred to you guys. Sometimes I'm just talking to myself, not necessarily you. <laughs> Because I'm sure everybody else would have already spotted that that's an issue, but Sometimes it um, overlook these things and then realize, no, that's not going to work that way. So I'm just going to tuck that one behind. Huh. 
Okay. So the other thing is I thought I want I cut out one of the little mushrooms and I like the idea of placing him right there. I think that's going to be really sweet. Okay, I'm going to do that. I'm going to put the mushroom down there and then try... You know what? Let's put a little bit of cheesecloth behind the mushroom. And tell you what else we'll do just for some added texture. I'm going to get this cheesecloth Well, before I put the cheesecloth, let me get my, oh my gosh, look at this, everything's sticking to me now that I've used that three in one. Let me get some of my Irish linen thread and put some of that. Now I'll put my cheesecloth. She's going to break out into song. I know that's what you're thinking. Oh my God, she's not going to break out into song, is she? Okay, there. Hopefully that's... Now, what I do with this is just kind of move it around a little bit. Because I just, I really like lots of textures. I'm going to let that dry for a minute. While that's drying, let me just go ahead because I'm still got to get my button on and I've got to use one of these safety pins. Now safety pin I'm pretty sure I'm going to use a little tag. This is my little bucket of tiny tags I got cut up. And I think I might try that shape. Let me get a little. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to decide what kind of stamp I want to put on there. Let me have a look see at what I've got. I've got this. This is an old. Stamping up, and there's this tiny little flower. I actually think I'm going to use that. Let's get that on there. Yeah, I think that's fine. The reason I, normally I would put a word, but because I've got that, I, I don't feel, I don't know, it's just, it's just my thinking that maybe that's better suited with just a little flower there. Where are we guys? We still need, we've got our lace, we need this button. And on this one I put the little button on the pin and I think that's actually what I'm going to do on this one and the reason being I don't want to start something, I don't want it to be too busy 
so I'm inclined to just put another tiny button on that. Let me see. I'm going to get my little jug of stuff here. I've got these tiny, tiny ones. They're super, super flat, so that's what I'm going to use rather than a um, regular button because they're a little bit thick for this. And So let's see if I have the button first. Oh, I just realized. Okay, now where am I going to attach it? I may have to do something up here. Hmm. Unless I have it dangling. That's what I'm going to do. I totally did not plan this, but I am going to have to put an eyelet in there. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have that dangling from that and hope that I can get this put in without it interfering with that word. Okay, yep, there she is. That's worked. That's worked, I think. Okay guys, that is the little tutorial, and you can see how that's come out. Got the um, envelope, lace, um, safety pin, button, And the paper doily. <laughs> I have to check my list. The paper doily. And then this slides out. And you can write on the back. And this will flip up. Writing space, writing space, and more writing space. And then later I will do a um, another little tag here. But this has gotten very long, guys, so I'm going to stop it there. Get this cleared out. Flip that over so you can see. You can see the two of them. I'm very happy with how those came out. Okay guys, that is the five on a dime challenge. I hope that you've enjoyed it and I please check out the other ladies in the description box below and I hope that you will uh, give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys later. Take care. Bye.